yep. over rounded the seat. I saw you. I, I saw. I saw you as you went through. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, you caught that. You seen that? Probably got full of you. Y'all are welcome. Okay, brand new lake. You've never been to a lake. How do you break it down? So first thing I did after we decided which lake we're going to fish, I pull out my Navionics chart from my phone app. And surprisingly, this tiny little lake actually has contour lines on it. Most little lakes don't. Also another clue to figure out whoa, which lake we're on is this one has contour lines on the Navionics chart. And what I found out was most of the lake is about 10 feet deep. And it's got two or three little spring holes in it, which go to 2021. And we graphed the first one right next to the boat ramp. Clue number three is a deep 21 foot spring that has, is completely ringed with grass. Now we'll be back over there probably in the afternoon, but we wanted to come over here to these pads that are in six feet of water and try to find fish pushing up bait early in the morning. I caught the one little schoolie right outside these pads. There were four or five of them, about eight inches long, chasing bait. But we're trying to find some bigger fish. First thing we did, pull out your Navionics app and see if you've got contour lines and do some map study before you get to the lake. Tip number one. Okay, tip number two. Once you're here, and determine, okay, where's your water clarity? We found eelgrass, pads, spring. That's gonna mean cleaner water. And it is pretty clear, it's got no stain to it. So that's gonna dictate bait color choices. Well, this morning, before we had any real light, it doesn't really matter. But, and we're throwing noisy reaction baits, top waters. I'm throwing a floating thumper through the pads to try to get a big bite. Uh, but as the sun comes up, we're going to have to switch to more natural colors, which means jerk baits, crank baits, your greens and your clears and your pumpkins. If we go to flipping, which looks like that might be an option when the sun comes up. So second tip is when you get to the lake, determine your water clarity and your vegetation so you can make better bait color choices. That's number two. Okay, tip number three. We've done our chart study. We've got our water clarity, picked our colors out. Now we're looking for structure or for cover. Right now we're in six and a half, seven and a half feet of water, fishing an outside line of some pretty dense lily pads, going towards a point which should give us some structure, maybe a bar, um, according to the chart. We'll see how drastic it is when we get there, but. We're now looking for something physical that's gonna hold these fish in an area. So stick around, we'll see how we do. Almost too much really time. Well, that's the thing is you gotta find the edge. That's what I'm looking for now, because we're out in the sand again. Is find the edge of the submerged vegetation and it acts just like a drop off or a cliff or you know, canal edge to focus these fish. And then you work down it and you find a spot just like we did in Southport where they like more than others. And then that's how you get a group of fish. <clears throat> nope. Tick, tick, tick. Nope. So we've been out here for an hour. Yeah, out here for an hour. I got the one little guy school here this morning before the sun came up. And we've identified what we think might be the structure that's holding fish. And that is, it's really not structure, it's cover, but it's a hard edge of cover. So what we've got here is lily pads that have some pretty thick clumps of eelgrass underneath them. But where the activity we're seeing now is on the outside edge. So it's like a drop off. 
or cha a canal edge, or even in Kissimmee where you have a hard edge of Kissimmee grass and they're on the outside edge of this. However, this edge is underwater, it's submerged. So what I'm doing is I'm using my 360, I'm using my live to keep us off the outside edge of the drop off of the submerged vegetation. I think that's gonna be the key today. We just have to run enough of it to find the hot spot on the edge. It's just like any place you fish, a river or a canal, everything looks the same, but all of a sudden there is one spot that concentrates fish more than others. And we've got a bunch of them in Cypress and, and Hatch Canals and Southport Canals. And we know where those are. Now what we're trying to do is take that knowledge of the fact that fish concentrate in one area of structure and we're applying it to the submerged vegetation hard drop off and i'm talking hard it is four foot tall eelgrass and then sand so that's the structure air quotes that we're fishing let's see how we do the box here before too long because we got about two and a half hours before it gets hot although the breeze is nice I got him this time. Oh, it's a little bass. Tiny little guy. All right, so this outside, what can this, so we're gonna, oh, self-releasing. Thank you, sir. Working the outside edge, submerged line, throwing a crankbait. Nate's throwing a flashy tail, spinny thingy, trademark neck bait. Um, and that's fish number two. Hopefully they will get bigger. That one is actually bigger than the first one. So we're headed in the right direction at least. Stick around. Are you fishing all customs now? Sir? Are you fishing all custom now? Yep. Oh my goodness. Three! I'm killing that boy. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're not just going to talk about that. Dude. Don't know what you're thinking, but I like your attitude. That is a 50 gallon tank. Is that one you we want to fillet for your mom? Uh huh? Is that the one we want to fillet for your mom? Yeah. Catching the monsters. The toothpick. Look at that. He has got the most perfect colors. What a beautiful little fish. <laughs> Three ish. Well, three hours, three little fish. Heat index is supposed to be somewhere around 110 today and it's getting there quickly. And we're gonna call it. But the whole point of fishing new lakes is to learn something new. It make you a better fisherman if you fish somewhere that you've never fished before. It makes you think differently. We did okay, three tiny little fish. That was not really the point, but we, we processed the lake. You know, how to fish it. We'll probably come back and do a little better. We're not hiding the name of the leg just because we're being funny. I want you guys to look across the map, all these little lakes that you guys will drive past every day and fish something new. You'll learn a lot. If this is the first video you have watched on this channel, watch this video next. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.